Well, I just want them to recognize early in their careers how to leverage this opportunity into what it really should be, you know, historically for our fraternity and for them moving forward. Right. So they're they're making a, a bunch of money, but I've read the stats like 15% of NFL players go broke within a couple of years after leaving the league. What is the the main thing that you have to convey to them to help change that outcome? You know, I, I think it's that they have to empower themselves through education. Just you know, going and finding an advisor because he advises a former college teammate or the superstar on their team. That's not tight enough criteria for what is really the biggest employment uh, decision of their lives. How do you pick an advisor? I mean, how would any 23-year-old, let's say, know how to pick a financial advisor? Well, it, it comes with understanding what you could do on your own. And I often advise guys to, to read a couple books, one being Jack Bogle's uh, Little Straight Book of Common Sense Investing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got many that, that you can learn from, but all of a sudden oh, you Bogle. learn. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, you learn, you know, what the tide sort of does from an ebb and flow standpoint and what can be done. At that point, you can go find an advisor and say, hey, show me, are you competitive with this historically for you know, more than a year or not? Do you have a, a sort of success story that comes to mind in working with these guys? Um, you know, it's probably the best ones have been emails from, you know, these presentations four or five years later where a guy will say, look, I've read the books you told me to read. They changed my life. I've employed the practices, and my family's better off for it. Do you it. think the NFL's culture is changing, or is it still too early days to, to kind of trust that in the future these guys will be better about, you know, investing the money, uh, being smart about the people who surround them? Because we do, we have a lot of people now who are, are working on these initiatives, and I just wonder if it's bearing fruit yet. Yeah, you know, it, it's tough because you're dealing with a group that is young and full of testosterone and full of pride, uh, and it's, we're always one of the, I guess, peacock, I guess is the term, in terms of dressing nice, looking And the, the watch that I know drives you crazy, the $100,000 <laughs> watches. <laughs> the $6.4 million watch, Ooh. as I like to say, you know, the opportunity cost of those dollars spent early. Um, so, you know, there's definitely more attention being paid to it on, on the, you know, examples of the how not to. I'm certainly a lot more about the, the how to. Yeah, and I know that Warren Buffett was someone you got very interested in when you left the league. Um, I turned on the game last night. Every time I turned it on, someone was down on the field. Players were being taken off in stretchers. I, I, I'm trying, look, I love cheering for the Giants and Daniel Jones, but it's really getting hard for me to watch. What, is the NFL facing an existential problem here? You know, I think so long as it continues to reward people for that risk and the way it has, uh, I don't think the pipeline will dry up anytime soon. Uh, the demographics of, of people getting funneled into that pipeline uh, could easily change. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity. I, I had 11 surgeries in 11 years, and I still say I'd do it all over again if I could. 11 surgeries in 11 years. So you think college athletes should be paid as California is proposing? Yeah, I've heard about that. You know, I think they should be paid in a deferred compensation package. Uh, you know, sort of you know, maybe contribute to a 401k for them. Uh, get them to understand the time value of money. You, you're telling me a guy's going to go to Stanford because they're going to contribute to his 401k, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if it's a, a uniform payment to all <laughs> athletes. Um, you know, I think it'd be valuable and a great introduction into getting them interested in how that money will work for them over the long term. Excellent point.